Hey guys, it's Joey. So if you watched my last 10 Cloverfield Lane video, I basically just talked about Swamp Pop and how there wasn't really any solid Cloverfield Lane ARG at the time. Since I made that video, a whole bunch of ARG has come out and it's amazing. It's like official ARG, it is real. There is ARG for 10 Cloverfield Lane. There is so much, it is so dense. It's going to be hard to really capture everything in this video, but I will do my best. The meat of this ARG is basically funandprettythings.com if you haven't checked that out, but I'm, I have a feeling you have, which is basically Howard, which is John Goodman's character, communicating with Megan. Now, we don't know who Megan is yet, and if she's in the movie, if she's Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character. I don't think she is. I think we've ruled that out. But it's her, his daughter. We've we've learned that much. It's his daughter, and he's trying to help her survive through whatever the heck is gonna go down soon. So he puts a whole bunch of clues. It's sort of like a forum for him to communicate with her that they only those two know about. The thing about ARG is that you are really real time involved with this interaction. The fact that we all know about it and are communicating with it and sort of moving around him trying to communicate with her is really throwing sort of a monkey wrench into Howard's plans because there's a survival game like it's sort of like a yeah I guess survival game that he sent Megan that to help her like improve her skills and know that she's ready to survive if things do get really bad people are playing that we're playing that the community's playing that and it it's giving Howard a lot of you know, incorrect information because he thinks that Megan is doing this and she is not. It's us. That's the thing. The thing about ARG is it, it gets pretty heavy and, and this is a really weirdly emotional ARG. We're sort of interrupting him trying to save his daughter. There's been some drops, you know, of like a, a cash, sort of like a survival kit thing that someone found. And before I go ahead, Cloverfield Clues and the Reddit, Ted Cloverfield Lane Reddit community are all to thank for all this amazing, you know, ARG interaction, discovery, and, you know, knowledge and work. <laughs> because these people put in work, they test everything. I admire them so much because I wish I had the patience and the knowledge to really discover these things and unravel them and bring them to light. So I want to thank, I want to shout out to all those guys. You know who you are. I'm going to link to all the cool information I'm talking about in the description because you guys got to really check this out if you haven't yet. We were a week away from the movie coming out, so it's time to really get on the ARG train. And it's not over. There's still a lot happening. But back to the ARG talk. There was sort of a survival kit dropped in, I believe, Louisiana, and somebody picked it up, and they found a whole bunch of, like, Typical survival stuff like uh, there was food rations, there was water, there was like a little booklet, and then there were like a there was a bottle opener with a USB, like a USB bottle opener and a Swiss Army knife with a USB attached. And in those USB, there were audio files. Now I haven't listened to all the audio files, and I apologize because I wanted to bring you guys the best information. I might do another video before it actually comes out, but on. The ones I heard were from uh, the space station, up the International Space Station and the European Space Station, and these they're all interacting, and there's there's so much going on. If you there, you have to listen to these a couple times. That's why I haven't gotten to all of them because I've been like listening and observing all the background noise and the actual like sort of front conversation that's going on. I I will link to those so you guys can check them out yourselves. But it's so interesting. And the one eye that sticks out of my head was there, there was a conversation going on about some sort of, you know, serious situation going on. And at one point, the, the audio of one of the, the, the people conversing drops from the space station. And then it goes back up and was, he said there was sort of like a blackout or a whiteout. I've heard things about what's going to happen in this universe and going forward what is going to happen in the Cloverfield universe and it's very interesting that things are happening on the space station so space or not happening on it but something that is you know affecting it in a way which is really interesting especially if you are reminded that 
the first Cloverfield movie, you know, Clovey was, as far as we know, as the speculation goes, because nothing, not, we don't know really solid information about anything, really, but uh, the, the diehard fans will know that first, in the, at the end of the first movie, the satellite falls into the water at the, like, sort of the last scene in the corner. If you don't know this, you could probably find a clip on YouTube or just look it up on the internet. There's, like, a satellite that falls into the water while they're on the, the ride. And that is what we assume wakes Clovey up. And it rattles all that. And the fact that there's talk on the space station, we don't, it's, there's so much. I, I don't want to sort of, like, feed into any, any speculation or rumor or... I don't want to just throw my theories out at you, but this is so, it's so fascinating. And I'm going to listen to the rest of the audio and I suggest you do the same if you are interested. I will link to them. Okay, before going into too much detail, I want to cut this short because there's so much information. And I think you guys should really check it out for yourselves and come to your own conclusions and theories. There's the Radio Man stuff. There's, there's just so much. There's so much to do. There is official 10 Cloverfield Lane ARG. And I think it's so much more expansive than we realize at this point. And it's not over yet. The movie comes out next week. And there's still so much happening day to day. And it's 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 going to be hard to keep up with in a video. If you, if you really want information, Reddit and Cloverfield Clues have got it down. Those people are amazing. I can't stop saying that enough. Alright guys, so the next video I'll probably make would be like sort of a review for 10 Cloverfield Lane and then depending on how that goes which I think it'll be amazing I'm already I think it's gonna be amazing I will make a sort of full like I said a fuller video that sort of encompasses the ARG and what we see in the movie and uh, hopefully I get to see it a few times because I know there's gonna be stuff I miss the first time because I'm gonna be so engaged and locked in on what's happening that I, I won't notice the clues so if you guys see the movie, let me know. Like in this video, in this video, if I haven't yet, you can always tweet me at Joey Pedras. All right, guys. I hope this video wasn't boring or too long. I'll see you soon.